Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otsus T, and welcome back to my open. No. To Game Dev Episode 5, I think it is. And uh, last time we finished off with creating our uh, second game engine that we want to employ on our next project. Um, okay. Then let's see what publishing deals we have here. Cyberpunk that we have not yet researched. Uh, school, we did a game last time, uh, did not turn out that great, and uh, 8 is definitely uh, too high. Post apocalyptic with a score of 4. I think that's achievable, but we would need to buy license there. Law and Adventure, which we uh, just uh, managed to acquire. Um, so let's try to go for uh, this one. Um, Law and Order, uh, just because that's the also the name of uh, of a recent episode of my. Uh, Minecraft. So, what's good for adventure? Certainly not handhelds. Uh, I <laughs> would assume consoles would be good, but the PC has uh, has more uh, um, uh, more reach, at least at the moment. So. Uh, Let's do that, and of course we will go with our own game engine. Um, adventure... I think uh, it will be a 3D game. There needs to be a time uh, where we uh, develop our first 3D game so that we can uh, uh, develop uh, the, the properties, our skills to get better and better and make better games and earn more money and uh, become real rich. So as I said last time, if you uh, uh, want to read all these messages, you can pause the game. Um, some of them are quite quite funny. Basically, they they follow the same lines as uh, as uh, Mr. Real Life. Of course, the uh, companies are named a bit differently, but. Uh, not so much, so uh, you probably uh, uh, can make the connections. So we have a bit of a hype there, so we will push that further with some marketing uh, uh, towards the uh, end of the uh, development cycle. Um, stereo sound. Um, uh, let's switch over here. That's a bit more balanced, right? And then, yep. Avoni has released the play system, and we will do that uh, marketing campaign in magazines. That should uh, uh, up the hype a bit. We have quite a bit of uh, bugs here, but uh, uh, while working these out, we gain additional points here and uh, 
I think we are already higher on both of them than in any other game before. So that's hopefully uh, due to our new game engine. Alright. And salary increase for Bill as he leveled up. That's okay. Did good work. Easter eggs. I always like Easter eggs. I also like uh, eggs at the other time of the year. Um, but now... Um, I think some more research is in order. So let's get this out of the way and the review. Eight. Yeah, um, um, yeah, that's that's the right direction I want to go. We need a bit of cash. So I would hope that would bring us a solid aid it is. I hope that will bring us back up to uh, to uh, uh, four million um, do another new topic Ooh, colonization and a game report here. So that we learn what we actually did right here and can uh, repeat ourselves and of course meets the requirements which is great. Um, small booths at the games convention. Um, let's do more research uh, for easter eggs. Search for uh, branching story, and then research not for new topic. Just go with uh, with horror, and the game report says. Ah, strategy games is a trend. Game report says law and adventure great combination dialogues very important pc adventure great law everyone great audience map okay so pretty much we did everything right and then let's have a look at what deals we do have any topic simulation surgery any genre this, uh, this is core of seven is a bit high extreme sports eight it's also a bit high werewolf any genre score of five i think i can do that so let's do this one and figure out the genre first. So I think either adventure or RPG. RPG is a great combination. We already know that. Um, time of the wolf. Um, RPG. Let's let's try out the new play system. Will cost us uh, a license, but uh, we only have to pay it once. Um, yeah, it's another three D uh, game, and how many visitors will we have this time? Ooh, that's twenty thousand more than uh, last time. Great, just great. Um, think game engine is not that important. Gameplay probably more so. Um, let's add in the uh, the uh, multiplayer here. 
I think that could be uh, interesting for an uh, RPG game. And uh, I think we already created a bit of a hype thanks to the um, the the conference there. Um, now that's also a bit of uh, of guessing. Um, yeah, let's try it like this. And then in the uh, last section we will have another uh, magazine campaign. Um, yeah, that, that looks about right. Right? What do you think? We have done anything uh, differently? You can leave your comments down in the uh, comment section. Okay. I think uh, that will be another good game. Okay. Let's finish that one off. Yeah, record on uh, both accounts, so that's good. Uh, we have another uh, salary increase this time for Brandon. And he can uh, do special training. You're both a bit tired. So, quick vacation for them. It's a 10! Another 10! And a 9. And then this probably is another 10. Yeah. You only seldom get, uh, get uh, uh, 4 10s. Uh, but that should be uh, something that brings us a big step forward. Um, of course, a publisher is uh, ecstatic. And um, let's have a look if we find a nice deal that we can do. Still the same as before, so um, uh, let's do some um, some design training here. And some uh, technology training here. And some research here cyberpunk because currently that's that's the big hype maybe uh, if we can do a game we can do a better job than uh, the cyberpunk uh, 2077 not that I have uh, played it, um, or that I really uh, uh, know what's good or what's bad about it. Did not really uh, uh, follow that discussion, but my opinion, every game that's uh, hyped that high um, can only uh, uh, flop. Uh, when released because the uh, expectations are just too high so it's nearly impossible uh, uh, to reach that uh, so let's look um, do we have any other assess in any uh, genre score of five well, I'll say we can do that so let's wait here uh, 
Oh, it already changed. Damn. I think action on the uh, uh, on the uh, game link is not really a good combination. So let's research this and two more topics. Um, extreme sports and what's the next one on the list dystopian and then we should be uh, set for another game hopefully another successful game Yeah, we research dystopian, so um, let's try to do this one. Dystopian adventure, um, desolate world. Um, French. I have a feeling the play system would be a good match for adventure games. Um, they have quite a bit of reach. Uh, yeah, let's do another 3D game. Story quest. Um, that's not so important. Um, maybe this time without the uh, multiplayer. Arena gear is no longer supported. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm not so sure. Adventure games are just not my uh, my forte. Um, but we will do our best, nevertheless. Um, well, let's switch this around a bit. Okay. Yeah, it looks about right. And then of course we do another marketing campaign in magazines. I think we have a a, a bit of a bigger hype, but I'm not sure if we uh, managed to uh, to get a higher score uh, on both these accounts than uh, we had before. But let's see. No, we didn't. But we did level up in a few areas. This is also good. And we unlocked some more research topics. So, um, we need some more in here. Um, superheroes, and then uh, here, um, so 
some research into design. So how did we do? It's a five. It's a four. It's a four. And another four. So I think that's not enough. But maybe with the uh, help of um, our marketing campaign and the uh, convention here, we can make a bit of sales. And once again, uh, we have more visitors. Okay. We leveled up our uh, office here. Okay. And then let's have a look if we can find an uh, interesting uh, deal. Surgery simulation, abstract casual, any topic RPG, but with a score of 8, and new for casual. I think that's that's a good combination, but I'm a bit unsure about the uh, minimal score there. But let's try it. Um, we will call this uh, puzzles. Um, for the gameling, because we know casual there is good. Uh, but this time it will be uh, 2D graphics. Uh, yep, let's uh, do a sponsorship for a woman in uh, game development or in the uh, industry. So here we know we can also get rid of save game. Right, and if we can make this game somewhat work, yep, sponsored sponsorship, but news that should help us out a bit. Um, again um, oh no 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 um, Brandon Bill and like this now that uh, sponsorship should either help us with the hype or with the fans I'm not sure what it does but uh, Publicity is um, not such a bad thing here. Okay, um, I don't need um, open world or day and night cycle for this. Um, it this way and then of course once again marketing campaigns in magazines I 
it does not look so good on uh, these accounts. It's, I would say, disappointing low. I would say we uh, we missed our uh, aim there. Um, let's do the that research, which requires all our um, uh, our. Um, ooh, that's not good. We needed the eight and got fours and threes. Something is. Uh, Terribly, terribly wrong. Yeah, so abstract and casual, not a good combination. I would have thought otherwise. Um, let's create game report for the last game and for this game. Then we hopefully know more. Yeah. So, first game report for Desolate World. Dystopian adventure, good combination, graphic, important, play system, everyone, great. Okay. And the second game. Abstract, casual, terrible. Level design, very important. But. You go on uh, vacation. You go on vacation. Um, I research a new topic. Prison. And. Not topic research. Romance. And we have the points for another one. I mean, if you're fast enough with uh, reading. Um, you can read it as it's printed out, but I am not. So... Okay, then let's have a look at the uh, publishing deals. Vampire RPG. I think that's that's a good co combination. Uh, we would need the uh, the license for it. Colonization and action. Evil and the uh, RPG. Hunting any genre. I think with a with a score of five, uh, I can do that. And we call this game Grouse because uh, about 15 years ago there was uh, a, a game here around Germany. It was called uh, Morhun, where you basically uh, went out hunting for, for grouse. So and. Everyone was uh, was doing that, playing it in their on their break time, um, or maybe not even on their break time. I don't know. Um, 
It was similar like uh, uh, Solitaire's on uh, on Windows uh, during the the 90s, um, or maybe a, a Flappy Bird um, in more recent times. Um, yep, yep. Uh, let's leave it at that. Uh, maybe I should also um, have a closer look at the uh, assignments. Okay, um, uh, level design. Grant, you're our tech guy. Yeah, you're right here, uh, and Bill is our design guy. Level design. I think that's okay. Um maybe we add open world in here and graphics. Graphics is more of a, of a technical issue than a design issue, so uh, the, the graphic engine, I, w I would think, would that mean. Um, or should we try to, uh, to switch this around? Like this. I don't know, uh, but let's go to the game convention and uh, do a bit of marketing. It can't hurt. Uh, we need some some points there, especially on the uh, tech side. Design wise, I think we're probably good. Uh, we are. Block free. So let's see how many visitors we have at the convention. Uh, this time it's only 5,000 more, I think. Okay, points still coming in. So let's them come in. Um, bug coming, bug goes out, and we release. Okay, we have a new record for the uh, uh, tech side. And then let's go. And Bill gets more money. Uh, more research topics. Um, um, decline. We won't do sabotage. Um, soundtrack, um, research for a new topic. Disaster. Let's see, okay. Nine, ten, ten. Nine. Nine. And another nine. So it's not the best of games, but it should get us somewhere, and uh, this for sure. Uh, Covers the uh, the expectation of the uh, of the uh, publisher, and I would say uh, on uh, that note, 
we will finish this episode. So until next time, goodbye.